Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, we have got a transit in today. This is a 2017 with a two litre Eco Blue engine in it. Customers complaining of um, lack of power and also AdBlue warnings coming up. The AdBlue countdown is, is coming on, telling him he's got sort of 500 miles left and gradually going down and down and down. Um, so we've plugged into it today with the Worthwell Diagnostics and uh, we've got these faults logged. So we've got a particulate filter fault on top, um, possibly a regen issue. Um, because of the other two faults, we've got two boost control faults, solenoid and boost position sensor circuit. So we're going to have a look at this today and uh, I'm going to show you what we've, we've found wrong with it. So under the bonnet we've got the little 2 litre Eco Blue engine. Um, now the turbo position sensor and actuator is this unit here, the electronic motor attached to the turbo. Now be careful guys, don't just throw a turbo on it because um, after a bit of um, investigation we found these have got wiring issue to the turbo. Now actually this part here, this plug, it seems to be something to do with this bend or the material that's used on the actual turbo wiring. Um, but if you can have a look down here, you can see that wire there is actually broken okay so uh, we actually done an ECU pin out on this vehicle uh, before we knew about this and um, we knew there was uh, no continuity between from the plug between this wire and the terminal that corresponds to on the ECU which is how we found out this was the issue but after a bit of um, looking into it we spoke to Ford and they said there's actually a it's actually a known issue there's a TSB service bulletin on this and um, unusually they actually provide or well, you can buy this section of loom to wire it, wire it in so we're going to replace this bit these are all brittle as well so rather than just put a joiner in there we're going to replace this section with a new piece and a new plug and I'm going to show you what we're going to fit in there and um, give you the part number so it'll be useful if you need to get hold of one. So here we have the new part been delivered from Ford. This is the uh, plug, so it's the same plug that will go onto the turbo there. And you actually get this whole length of wire. You can connect those in. You can use your own connectors for that. Um, but yeah, so you get plenty to play with here, and you can route it, I guess, slightly differently. Obviously, keep it out of the way of the of the hot exhaust, hot manifold. Um, but I believe it's now made from slightly different material to stop this issue, essentially. So um, I don't think they've recalled them, but you know, at least they supply supply this so you can get out of trouble without changing your whole engine wiring harness which would be a massive job now if you need the part number for this guys um, this is the box it came in those are the numbers so if you're having trouble with the dealer or they they can't find the part or don't think it exists you can give them that number and then uh, yeah they'll supply you that, that piece for it so I'm gonna get on the fire this in and then see if we can clear them full cones Okay guys, so we've got that fitted now, uh, that's all soldered in, uh, quite easy to fit, you just sort of, all the wires are colour coded, so you just uh, cut the old one off, solder the new one on. Um, let's see if we can now delete the fault codes. There we go. No fault codes stored. We'll start it up. There we go, engine running, no lights on the dash. No full codes, we'll just try and read that again. Okay, 
No fault code stored at all, so it looks like we've got a fix. So uh, yeah, if that's helped any of you guys, um, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel, encourages me to make more videos. Um, there's the part number again for the part I use to repair it. Hopefully that will help some of you and keep, keep your vans on the road. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.